What is up guys? So today's kind of a big day. We are going to brewmate our snakes, so all of our colubrid snakes. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take all the snakes that are already prepared in tubs um, with lids on them and everything and secure in the closet right now. I'm gonna put them in the outdoor storage closet where I'm gonna brumate them. So brumation is a hibernation period which I usually aim for about 55 degrees but um, usually somewhere between 55 to 65 or 45 to 65 would be completely ideal. Um, temperature swings don't really matter. Everyone's always really scared about to get their snakes so cold or afraid to get them a little bit warmer during hibernation. But um, the fact is that the temperature is always going to swing. You can only control so much. So what I'm going to do is set the guys up in the closet right now. Right now it's about 65 degrees in there. It's about 60 degrees out. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on it as far as those daytime highs may get up into the 70s in that room. But um, what I'm really looking for is to keep them a little bit lower. At night they're going to be getting all the way down to you know probably 50 degrees. I'll put the heater in there, a space heater, and just set it at 50 degrees. So if it does get lower than that I can keep it warm. But here in Dallas it really doesn't get that cold. So. I'm not terribly worried about it. Also, um, keep in mind I've had these guys off of feed for about three weeks, allowing them to digest all the food that they have in their stomach. If you have food left over in the snakes, um, their body won't digest it well and it will basically rot inside of them and get your snake sick and it will probably die during hibernation. So you want to make sure that their stomachs are cleared. So let's get going. I have a little bit of work to do. The closet's uh, pretty full. So as you can see behind me, this is the closet we are going to be putting the animals in. It's actually just a shoot off of my porch here. And um, we're going to put some type of blanket or something on the floor because I did heat temp everything and it turns out the floor keeps a uh, you know a few degrees cooler than the rest of the room and um, I'm constantly just every day for at least the first couple weeks gonna keep an eye on the temperature see where the swings go um, what the temperature is in comparison to the outside temperature so I've been doing that the last few days um, sometimes it will be about five degrees warmer in the closet and sometimes it will be a little bit colder in the morning so um, yeah I mean I'll just keep an eye on that all together um, I'm keeping my army stuff in here now so they just give you so much shit so I'm gonna have to move this into the closet where the snakes are now and uh, let's get moving So now I laid down my blanket, we have the closet all empty here, and it is time to get moving. And here we have all the snakes that are all cleaned, all ready to go. And um, all I'm going to do for these guys while they're in brumation is make sure that they have clean water. I'll do that about once a week. Other than that, I'll try to leave them alone as much as possible. So there we are. Here is our hibernaculum for the winter. Uh, sometimes you gotta get a little bit creative. This was pretty easy to do and um, I'm happy. There's always kind of a way to figure it out even if you don't think you have a space that's good enough to uh, brew made in. Um, you can always find a way to do it or at least get a little bit cooler than uh, they would get normally. So what I did here was I did set up the heater but I have it pointed towards the wall so no one's getting direct heat from the heater. Um, I'm, I set it to 50 which should be good enough. Um, it can get a little bit cooler than that, not a big deal. Laid blanket on the floor to make sure because uh, the bottom is kind of this concrete type material and is a little bit cooler than the uh, room temperature so I wanted to make sure that. And um, other than that we're pretty much good to go. A few things I wanted to touch on as far as my plans go. I'm gonna keep them in here. Um, usually I do a holiday to a holiday so I don't forget um, when I put them in and when I took them out. So this week what's coming up is Thanksgiving on Thursday. So 
I'm gonna do Thanksgiving to Valentine's Day. So Thanksgiving, I'll have them in here. Then somewhere around the middle of February or late February, I will take them out. And then that's when we will get started and start feeding them up and then pairing not too far after that. So if you have any questions about brew mating, um, there's not a perfect way to do it. There's so many different ways to do it. Um, you don't have to do it exactly getting down to 55 degrees. It doesn't have to be constant temperature. Um, sometimes it can be a little scary, I know, but for the most part, you'll get more comfortable the more you do it and you'll realize that these snakes are really hardy and this is what has to be done in order to get that good breeding trigger. So. I mean, it could be done at 70 degrees. I've had success with that, but this is how to get the best success with brumating your corns, bringing them up, and then ultimately breeding them. So now time to head into the part of the year where it gets real boring. I don't have many people to feed and clean. Um, I didn't put all the corn snakes in brumation just because um, a space issue. As you can see, I don't have much space to go. I don't want to stack too high and make it unstable or anything like that. So it gets a little boring because I don't have anyone to clean and feed. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But here you go. Go to sleep, fellas. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and if you made it this far, you're on the team. Now I gotta move all this stuff.